Hi, welcome to the show. Last night I was uh, having uh, a discussion or a session uh, with my uh, student. Uh, he is uh, from uh, US. So, uh, generally I do schedule <laughs> sometime uh, late night uh, because it matches their uh, time zones and usually I am quite active at night. Uh, we are discussing about some uh, kernel stuff and uh, uh, in fact uh, we are going through this uh, uh, some uh, uh, Broadcom uh, driver you can see there. So, I was uh, uh, traversing and uh, we are discussing few things about this because we have some uh, reference uh, Broadcom uh, Ethernet uh, uh, NIC. Uh, so, we thought perhaps we can do some uh, custom compile and uh, play around and uh, he is not anything new to Linux of course, uh, but uh, he have some limited knowledge uh, in terms of kernel aspect uh, which in that conversation, he found these things, uh, uh, these uh, likelies and uh, unlikelies as you see here and uh, he asked me what is the significance of this. See, you can see there, if you see if and uh, likely and unlikely, he, of course, uh, he gone through uh, something but again I, uh, he felt uh, he can ask me about uh, so that uh, he can get it clarified or if I have done some experimentation over uh, this likely and unlikely. So, you can see there always uh, we add this along with this uh, if conditions uh, and uh, if you trace its source, uh, if you click that it is defined somewhere you should find here. So, it is a sort of compiler optimization uh, stuff which of course, you will find it in uh, uh, Linux kernel and uh, always you will embed, uh, I mean you will encapsulate your whatever if condition with that likely and unlikely and this is an optional thing of course. So, uh, what uh, I found is, uh, I found this interesting uh, LWN.net uh, article, you can see that this is quite old uh, 2010, but this is a good article. See, what they are uh, you know mentioning is uh, it kind of uh, optimizes the CPU pipeline and if you know that if condition is most of the times so, uh, it is going to be true then you can mention uh, either way <laughs> likely or unlikely. So, that uh, uh, it can optimize that uh, specific code and you can see there uh, they just mentioned. So, uh, I can give some uh, real world examples. Uh, say for instance, you go here and uh, I can give some real examples uh, and even I have uh, used in my uh, traffic squeezer code not from day one, <laughs> after some time uh, I was optimizing the code and some places I felt uh, let me optimize with this uh, uh, likely and unlikely stuff. Okay? So, you should uh, say for example, you go inside this uh, net and uh, <coughs> uh, this IPv4 folder and you can see there IP input dot C and if you go down uh, all the way here, you can see this is the actual Rx path of uh, network packets, it is coming to the system and uh, this is a place where finally, it will get decided, it should be forwarded to the top level uh, uh, socket uh, subsystem or to this uh, uh, you know uh, IP forward stuff which meant uh, it should be routed. Okay. So, in a way the packets are coming and you can see there this IP receive has this encapsulating, I mean this has this API, uh, this IP receive core uh, long back old versions of uh, Linux uh, kernel if you go through, you will not find this uh, API at all because the whatever code they have put it should be inside this IP receive itself. So, anyway uh, you go up and you should find in some cases um, they will be doing uh, the integrity of the packet. You can see there IP header and IP header length. If it is fine, then version is fine, then consider as a, a valid uh, V4 packet. Otherwise, it can be a bogus uh, uh, or mal formatted packet. Uh, due to some reason, it got into this uh, stack or this you know subsystem. Okay, so, you have this condition here and afterwards, you can see there this uh, IP checksum uh, they are checking again here you can see there they are saying usually checksum errors are not possible because uh, you know uh, you know the rx path uh, you will get uh, already pre-checked some uh, packets okay 
the tx path is a different story uh, you will uh, check some or you don't check some if you don't check some it is called as a, a check some unnecessary and all that and it will get uh, offloaded to the hardware and stuff so anyway in the rx path you should get th in theory checksum v4 packets uh, which includes also udp and tcp checksum i mean the whole uh, other layers but in this case they are doing a fast ip checksum so in this case you see there again they are putting this unlikely the reason is uh, usually there won't be any checksum errors uh, so they are telling it is unlikely that if condition will be successful but in case if there is any checksum error uh, after this api you do this fast checksum you see here uh, they are passing this ip header uh, uh, pointer and then ip header length and internally it will do that you know checksum and uh, usually it won't happen and if it happens uh, then uh, you see some error uh, you see there in the go to they are incrementing the stats uh, and then uh, it will get eventually dropped you see there it does this and then it does this unconditionally and uh, you see there ip inc stats and here it is doing this uh, mip stat uh, mip stats and then uh, we are doing a drop and return null so this is what happens so this is a good example so same way if you go through any drivers you see there some cases you will find this unlikely uh, which means uh, it won't happen uh, so uh, whatever the CPU pipeline uh, uh, instructions or whatever it will be done in an optimal way and uh, similarly you should also find just uh, likely as well see this likely TCP off equal to 0 which means always this may happen so you have this code if that case occurs ok so always this is often happens and uh, it is quite rare it will go to this else clause ok so that is what it is so you can optionally use uh, you can actually when you do code uh, you do this uh, without any optimization and uh, see your uh, performance uh, when you are writing uh, or architecting any you know kernel uh, code or modules uh, you see how far it is uh, optimized and uh, later you can add some sort of optimization like this and then you can uh, figure out uh, uh, what could be the you know performance boost you get by adding something like that because that is what even I have done in my uh, long back uh, traffic squeezer code I was doing finally some lot of optimization every time I am doing some optimization and I am able to see some uh, performance improvement in uh, packet processing I initially I started with uh, managing the packet buffers and stuff I was also using some uh, uh, pre-allocated uh, buffers which is very important you don't do malloc as the way each time packet comes so you need to do some sort of you know buffer management extensive buffer management along with that I was also doing some sort of uh, basic compiler uh, I mean uh, basic code optimization let it be replacing for loop with just you know three iterations with some repeated codes and uh, you know various other things and uh, even this I have tried uh, of course you can easily benchmark with some jiffies and stuff like that you can find the overall uh, elapsed time uh, or the time span uh, usually it can be called as time span or we can call it as elapsed time so which means uh, there is some event happened and uh, there is another event is happening and the diff between these two timelines or uh, you know time uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, snapshot of that you know uh, uh, this thing time you know um, uh, I don't know how to say uh, of course in kernel you take a jiffies and then you take a jiffy and then you can do a, you know a elapsed time uh, this thing and uh, same way in user space uh, a get time of the day usually I use and then you will find that elapsed time so you will uh, take the, some two snapshots uh, and then you can do a diff and then you can find it out so same way you can do even this as well and you can figure it out uh, by adding that uh, what can be the performance improvements you get I'm, I'm, I'm saying see uh, of course you can uh, uh, even uh, uh, you know find uh, an assembly equivalent of things what it is getting translated that's different thing but in the end we just need to see that uh, what this code is making a difference in a live code so it's something you can do as well you can iterate this in uh, multiple uh, you know long iterations and then you can see there what is the total elapsed time so this way it will help you so 
it's a uh, initially you don't need to do this if you are writing any kernel code as you complete your you know entire uh, uh, feature and then if you are going to that bug fixing phase or a, you know even this optimization phase let it be uh, let us assume there is no bugs but in case you want to optimize your code then you can try even this as well and see uh, any specific case if it is always not going to happen then you can give a hint that it can be likely or not uh, you know unlikely and then see that how far it is optimizing the code so hope this addresses so if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye